Hi everybody, we're ready to get started on our first video tutorial on the Type tool. So we're going to start by opening up a new blank document. Go to File, New. In here, we're going to go ahead and title up in the name bar at the top. We're going to call this Type Tool Basics. Make sure that your number of artboards is set to just one. For your size, let's go ahead and select Letter. That should give you the presets of 8.5 inches by 11 inches. You may want to double check that your units over here are set to inches, not picas or points. Click OK. Let's go ahead and save this by going to File, Save As. Remember, you go to File, Save As the first time you save it. Navigate to your Print Shop folder. We're going to save this in Lessons, and we shouldn't have to type in a file name because we've already done that. Type Tool Basics and click Save. OK to any dialog box that pops up. All right, we're ready to get started. First thing you should know is that the Type Tool has a wide variety of other type tools. There is a drawer. You will notice if you hover the keyboard shortcut for the Type Tool is the letter T. But if you click and hold, you're going to see there's a wide variety of type tools in here. Today, we're going to deal with just the Type Tool and the Vertical Type Tool, the two most basic. So let's go ahead and grab our Type Tool. To start typing, all you have to do is click. When you do, you should get a blinking cursor. Very important that you do not click and drag because if I were to click and drag, it creates parameters that my text has to stay inside. And if I happen to type more than will fit in that box, my text will disappear. So we do not want to click and drag. You grab your type tool today and we're just simply going to click. Stop the video, do that now. All right, now that you have a blinking cursor, there's some changes you can make to your font before you start typing. First thing is you can change your font color up here in the top. So pick a color. You can pick a stroke color. Once you pick a stroke color, it should activate so that you can change your stroke size. So let's put on a size of two. You can change the opacity of your text. Let's take our opacity down to 50. You have the font characteristics or font style. In this case, let's leave it at Myriad Pro. If you scroll over to your font style, if you drop down, if we are in Myriad Pro, you'll see that we have lots of options, condensed, condensed italic, bold, italic, et cetera, et cetera. Depending on your font, you may have font style options. Not all fonts do. Some fonts don't have the bold, italic, etc. Next thing over is your font size. We're going to click the drop down and we're going to click on 72. And we're going to stop with from there. And I simply want you to type a word. Any word is fine. To make changes to your word, you can do a couple things. First of all, if I simply want to change the color, I'm going to switch back to my selection tool. If I click on it, I can change my font color. I can change my stroke. I can change the stroke size. I can change my opacity. I can change my font style. And I can even change the font size, all without having to highlight. Go ahead and stop and try that now. OK, if I want to make changes to my word, so if I've decided I don't want it to say word, I want it to say something else, I must highlight it first. You can also highlight it and still make changes up here. So stop the video and try that now.
If you want to change your opacity back to 100%, which is what we're going to do, you must highlight it first. That is the only one of these options up here that you cannot change simply by clicking on it. So let's go ahead and stop the video and change it back to 100%. Okay, in addition to this, you can still make some basic changes to your font by grabbing your type tool again. You can use different fonts within the same font object or type object. So I'm going to grab my type tool and I'm going to highlight part of my type object here. You can do one letter, you can do multiple letters, and you can change your font style. You can change your font color. You can take off the stroke. You can even change the size. So what I want you to do is I want you to stop the video and I want you to change the font in some way of one of the letters or more of the letters so that you can see that you have lots of control even within the same type object. So stop the video and do that now. Okay, you can also change the modify the, the size and scale of your type with just the basic selection tool. So I can click on this and I can stretch my type out. I can elongate it. I can even rotate it if I let my cursor hover and I can rotate. So go ahead and stop the video and try that now. Okay, we're going to make some copies of our layer, of our type object layer here. To make a copy, I want you to go ahead and make sure you have your selection tool. I want you to hold down the Alt key. You'll see you'll get that double-headed arrow, and we're going to click and we're going to drag. And I want you to drag two copies. I want you to make sure you select both of these copies. And we're going to arrange them. Oops. We're going to send them to the back. I'm actually going to take my top and just make this a little bit easier. We're going to change our opacity of these. So we're going to do this a slightly different way. So I'm going to show you one other way. We can Let's space these up just a little bit for just a second. And on one of your two copies, I want you to open up a panel called the transparency panel. So this is a different way to change your font um, transparency other than, <clears throat> excuse me, up in the top. And on one of your copies, I want you to take the transparency down to, um, let's take it to 60%. And on the other one, I want you to take it down to 30%. And then we're going to restack these. So we're going to make it look like our text is fading. Stop the video and do that now. Okay, next thing here, and last thing, really basic, but there's not a terrible ton um, that you have to know about the, the font tool. Much of it you could figure out on your own. I want you to grab the type tool, and we're going to click, and we're going to grab the type, and we're going to click, and we're going to put in a different word. And I want to show you some options for changing the size of your font as well as your font, some shortcuts for the font style. So if we click here, you do have some options to change your style. You can use the arrows. I'm clicking on the arrows next to this. As you've seen me use, I can use the drop down. I can also type in. So I'm highlighting here and I'm using my keypad and I'm typing in size. Okay, so that's three ways you can change the size pretty quickly. I can also, if you happen to have a mouse, if I click here and highlight the points, I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard. And if I have a mouse, I can use the scroll. You have to be on the points up in the control bar up at the top. I'm using right now, I'm using the scroll on my mouse. So that's a quick shortcut. Okay. While I'm talking about the mouse shortcut, I can do similar things over here in the font style. So if I click on the font style and I have a mouse, I can scroll through the words. I'm using my mouse. 
I can also, if I click on this, I can use the arrow keys as well. So if I don't have a scrolling mouse, but I do have a keyboard, I can use my arrows. So go ahead and stop the video and try that now. Okay. The next thing that we're gonna work our way through is just simply looking at how to use the type tool, excuse me, how to use the vertical type tool. So let's go ahead and go back to that drawer and we're gonna select a, our vertical type tool, not the vertical area type tool, but the vertical type tool. And this works just like it sounds. So if I were to click and start typing, and click my selection tool. I'm gonna to make this a little bit smaller. You're gonna notice it makes my type up, going vertical up and down. I will tell you in my opinion as a graphic designer, the vertical type tool is terrible because it's extremely difficult to read. Um, this type, because the way our eyes works, it's hard to string that together. And especially if you have kind of a crazy font, it makes it even more challenging. Here's my suggestion for everybody. If you want type to be going up and down, the best way to do it is to actually use your regular type tool, click, type your words, but rather than having them going up and down this way, I would simply rotate them so that this is going in a vertical manner rather than, because this is actually easier to read, especially if you have more than one word. If you have one word, it's the vertical type tool is okay, but when you start using more, the spacing becomes challenging for you to be able to tell the difference between the words and your mind can handle this, can handle reading this better than reading this. All right, so I want you to stop the video and I want you to do vertical type both ways. I want you to do vertical type using the vertical type tool and then I want you to do vertical type using the basic type tool and simply rotating it. And you can rotate it through any method that you've learned, whether you're just using the selection tool or you're using the rotate tool or you can even use a transform panel for those of you guys who are experienced enough and have used this program uh, before. All right, go ahead and save this before you close it. And that is it for the day. That's your first basic type tool lesson. Good job.